the lighting's not very good out here. It's a pretty color. Pretty color. That's the collection that I bought, or the remnants. Hello, it's Clay, the Georgia Bottle Picker on eBay. If you're new to the channel, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. But I bought another bottle collection. Actually, this is not a bottle collection. It's the remnants of somebody's inventory. The person this come from, they used to dig bottles, and they bought and sold bottles. They were bottle dealers and diggers. But they got too old to do either one, so they wanted to, they've been selling their inventory off for about four years, I guess. But this is the remnants of their inventory, the stuff that's left. And it's not all this. There's a bunch of it that I bought. And that's what this video is, the remnants of their inventory. And I got this stuff pretty cheap, but I bought a bunch of it, so it added up to be a bunch of money. But I'll make money over time. But go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. It don't cost anything to subscribe and hit the bell notification and share the videos. That's the best thing you can do to help me out is share the videos. But anyhow, let's go take a look and see what all I bought in this collection here. Oh yeah, did I need more bottles? No, I didn't. I got three containers full of bottles and that warehouse right there. That's my warehouse that I work out of. And that's my house over there. But I don't have very far to go from, from the house to work. I'm, I'm blessed in that sense, but anyhow, let's go take a look and see what all I bought here in this bottle collection. Some pretty neat stuff, a lot of color, a lot of cobalt, and a lot of purple. Starting to unload these bottles. Let's look here and see what all we got. Got them whiskey jugs. I bet it was three more than whiskey jugs. I put them at the antique mall. I was over there when I met, met him. I uh, paid $75 for nine whiskey jugs and there's another piece there's 10 of them there's a piece of pottery in the back we're gonna go through them and see what all we got a bunch of purple bottles i'm gonna try to sort these Wine, it says Brotherhood Wine Company, wine bottle. I bet I could get 20 on eBay for that. That's probably another 20 or 25 bottle, dollar bottle. That's a whiskey bottle. Let's see, I'm gonna sort some of these. Some of this is pretty good. Ain't nothing real, real valuable. A lot of these purple bottles, they sell good on eBay. People decorate with them. There's a flask. That's a paperweight, I guess. Purple. That looks blue. That's purple, dude. This box here was marked $50. It had all these... It didn't have those two whiskeys and that, but it had all the rest of this on the back of my truck. It didn't have that far whiskey either. This is one of the best boxes here. You see it's marked $100. Let's take a closer look at this. Some of these bottles in here in this box are reproduction. Some of them's new. Some of them are old. Most of them are old. But this here is a nice ink bottle. That's a pretty color blue. It don't look like it's got any damage. But you can see the little pour spout there. That's a blown bottle. It's pretty early. I don't know the value of it. It's at least $30, $35 for that. That's another ink. It does have some bruises. And it looks like it's got a crack. Stanford's ink. Quart size. Let's see what's down in here. That's a seltzer bottle. That's, I don't know if that's been irradiated. It's like a teal color. It's hard to see in this camera. Broma seltzer. Because of that color right there, it'll bring good money. Look at here what this is. Look at there. That's pretty cool. I dig old bottles, belt buckle. 
I've never seen one of them. I wonder if somebody had that made. I dig old bottles. There's another ink, 32 ounce Carter's, quart size. That's another good bottle. That's probably a $30 or more. And remember, I paid $100 for this box. That's another Carter's. It is 16 ounces, a little food bottle. Probably a cod oil. It's got that man fisherman with the fish on the back. I'm not sure about what that is. Probably some kind of medicine. Not sure the value of that. That's just a cobalt blue medicine. That's a pretty medicine bottle there. That color is pretty. These colors sell good. I used to sell a lot of colored, different colored bottles. That right there is pretty good. That's a globe, a light globe, cobalt blue. And that's a cobalt blue beer. This one's got a replaced top. If it didn't have a replaced top, that'd be a $30 or $40 bottle. It's a blob top beer, cobalt blue. That's pretty scarce. I think that's a new something new there it's a cone shaped bottle and this is royal mint sauce not familiar with that either not sure how old that is pretty like an onion bottle and that's another i guess an ink or medicine it's early too it's blown it's got a tool top And that's another early cobalt blue tool top. Not sure what those are for his medicines or what. This is another, like an onion shaped bottle from New York. I don't know what kind of bottle that is, but it's a pretty color. And it's early, it's got that tool top. That'll bring some decent money, that color will sell it. See what this is. I think that's a new bottle there. A newer bottle. And that's the stopper for it. Birmingham, Alabama Coca-Cola straight side. This is in good condition. It's not very valuable, but because it's in good condition, it'll bring 20 or $25. And these are small Florida waters from New York. They're not real valuable, but they will sell. These are in good condition. It's a small size. They make a bigger size of these. And this is a little flask. I think it's a reproduction. It's a pretty color. Pondled. I think that's a newer flask. Don't show no wear much, but it does. It, it's got some writing on it there on the bottom. EA89. Somebody knows what that means, let me know in the comments. An amber bottle, and somebody's put a Coca Cola sticker on it. I don't think this is a Coca Cola bottle, but it still may sell for $10 or $15 just because that label looks old. I think that's a maybe original Coca Cola label. And that's a perfume bottle. That's a newer bottle there. 1990, the date's on the bottom. That looks like a newer bottle there also. It's a pretty cobalt blue. And another one of these onion shaped bottles. Not sure what these are. It's an old bottle that's got a tool top full of bubbles. There's something else down in there. That's a pretty little bottle. Cobalt blue. I'm not sure. It's got some designs on it. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe some kind of medicine. And that's a cobalt blue ink. It's full of ink. Stamp pad ink. Carter's. It's 
got that top on it there. Not sure what kind of top that is. And this is a, oh, it's just got a date on the bottom. I think that's an ink bottle, Master Ink or Big Ink. Could be medicine, but I think it's ink, what I would guess. It's a quart size. Let's see what this is. Another perfume bottle. That looks new. That's another one of them medicine bottles or ink bottles. I'm not sure what this would be. It's got a tool top. It's old. And that's a cobalt blue bottle. I think it's newer. Man, that's a pretty good bottle there. I didn't know that was in there. That's a amber Coca-Cola straight side from Memphis, Tennessee, and it's got the arrows on it, and it's in good condition. It's got a couple little flea bites right there. Root bottle, root glass company. Oh, it does have a little damage. Yeah. That's about a $15 bottle. These blob tops is actually what I paid for. Charleston, South Carolina, I think they all the same. Charleston. Charleston. That one's a different one there, different variation. That's a $15 bottle. That's a $20 Jacksonville Coca-Cola straight side, just because of the variation. And this is a bunch of small bottles. Pay 30 for this box. Bunch of ink wells, some miniature whiskeys. That's a little miniature whiskey there. It's got a little lip chip, but still $15 at least. Purple ink well, $10. Not sure what that is. Maybe a toothpick holder, cobalt blue toothpick holder. It's just a cobalt medicine. Not sure what that is. I'm not sure what that's called, what that would even be. It's different. It's like it's part of something. It's ground lips. Somebody knows what it is, let me know. Cobalt blue medicine. Cobalt blue medicine. That's an early English. I've sold a bunch of these in the past. These Ink wells that have the M on the shoulder. But these little things here, you put your ink pens on them. That's where it's a pen rest. Pretty cool. That's probably 10 or $15. Amber ink well. I don't see nothing real good in the inks. It's a pretty little perfumer. Yeah, nothing real good in this box, but it's good inventory. It will sell. That's a little ink. I've never seen an ink just like that. That shape. Got them rings on it. Oh, it's got a name on the bottom. Higgins. That's a Higgins ink. American drawing ink. Higgins. It's got a little pore spout. I never had that. That's pretty. Pretty cool. That might have some value. There's another little miniature whiskey, Louisville, Kentucky, Taylor and Williams whiskey. That's a nice little piece, probably $15. Perfume and those two inks there. I don't have a name, but it does have the little pore spout. And let's look at this little train here. It's probably a candy container. It looks like it's missing part of it. This box was $50. Got a little, some kind of little dish full of bottle stoppers. They all in purple. And 
And then another, some kind of purple candy dish maybe. It's pretty. That's a pondled medicine. Some type. Dang. Not sure what that is. Looks like something that may go to a chemist set, maybe. Somebody knows, let me know. It's pineal too. It's blown. Pineal. It's got threads on the top, like you can put a lid on it. Somebody knows what it is, let me know. When I say it's a chemist flask. Maybe uh, see what else we got in here. A purple Washington DC brain food. How about that? You reckon was in there for it to be brain food? Some kind of little ink jar or food jar. Not sure pretty this purple stuff sells good this is a lamp base and that's another master ink stance staffords and all this is just purple purple bottles medicines Food, some cherry cola, purple. It's a pretty purple cherry cola. Birmingham, nope, Columbus, Georgia. Some of them down there in Birmingham. Pretty good. I'll make money on that one. All of these are purple bottles here. With purple milk. Got a lip chip. Let's look here and see what the price of this box was. $50 for this box. That milk bottle, even though it's got a lip chip, it's still a $20 bottle. And the box was $50. It's a big old pickle or probably a pickle or capers or... Another big old probably pickle bottle. Just a plain bottle. This whole box is purple. I've sold these type of bottles right here in the past. They bring about ten dollars a piece. That's a pepper sauce, probably that's a ketchup bottle. Purple ketchup, probably a $10 bottle. Another just soda water or soda bottle. Another purple soda bottle. That's a medicine, I guess, purple. Another ketchup bottle. That's a little whiskey bottle there, I think. Wheeling, West Virginia. I think that's a little whiskey bottle. That's probably 10 or 15, maybe $20. And that's another 10 or $15. This is that other piece of pottery. I'm not sure what it is or what it's worth. But it goes with all that. Here is some more whiskey bottles that's a black glass that's got an applied seal on it that is applied i'm not sure what the value of this is i'll have to look it up but that helps it out that applied seal that's a pretty color and whatever that is And that's a wine bottle. I've sold some of these. They're not real valuable. And another one. That there's 
think that's another wine bottle, Garrett. But I've never had a green one before. I've had a bunch of clear ones. That might have some value. I'll have to check and see. This box was $48. And it looks like all purple stuff. It looks like a ketchup bottle, maybe. That's a wine bottle, I think, when that bottom's in like that. A pretty whiskey that's not a crack in it that's just a bubble in the glass a long bubble it's pretty usually them ones with that fluted top shoulder they do pretty good that's probably a 20 but dollar 25 dollar bottle pay 48 for the box there's a some kind of food bottle or ink well not sure That's another wine bottle, I think. Another couple of whiskeys. And this is another whiskey box. $100 is what I paid. And I'm, not, I'm not familiar with some of these whiskeys. I'll just have to look them up. See how they do. They don't have any writing, but it's pretty, pretty color. It's got that lady leg neck on it. That's Metropolitan Punch. Not familiar with that. Old Joe Gidden Whiskey. St. Louis, 1904, 1905. Portland, Oregon. Not sure about that either. Portland, Oregon. Might be good. That's a Ponald. Not sure what kind of bottle that is. I don't think that's a whiskey bottle. It's shaped like a whiskey. But it's Ponald. That makes it pretty good. That's old. Have to do some research on that one. That's just a big black glass bottle. It's pretty. It's an odd shape. It's got a crude pot top on it. Three piece mold. If you can see it right there. Early bottle. Big too. Probably a Quart, I mean, a uh, half gallon maybe. That'd be nice right there if that was real. Coca Cola Hutch. That's just a crude looking. Well, it's got a name on it. It's an early, it's got a pretty drippy lip there. And this is New York. I think that might be all right. I'm not sure the values of these. I hadn't sold any in a while. These old whiskeys, I just have to look them up. But I know I'll at least double my money, probably more than that. Let's see, $72 for this box. Look at there, them fish. I sell them for about $20 a piece at the antique mall fish bottle fish bottle that's a pretty color i might get more for that one because of the color it's a pretty color i might get 30 for that one because of that color and there's another one here that's a pretty color they had five dollars on them they in good condition Oh, this one still got the label on it. I guess that's what come in it. Product of Italy. I'll have to look it up with the label. It might bring more money. But if I sold those three at the antique mall, that's 
if I got twenty dollars a piece, twenty, forty, sixty, I paid seventy two. Still got all this stuff in here. That's a beer bottle from Richmond, Virginia. I don't think it's very valuable. Oh, pint fruit jar, that's five or six dollars. White House vinegar, four or five dollars. Not sure about that. I'm not sure about that one either. That's a beer, I think. Amber beer bottle from Ohio, maybe. That's probably another beer bottle. It's early. Got a tool top. Yeah, I'm not familiar. Baltimore, that's probably not very valuable. A lot of that northern stuff don't bring a whole lot of money. That's the same thing. And the rest of all these are violin bottles, and I don't think they're that old. The top don't look tooled on them. I can't tell. They got some imperfections in the glass, bubbles. But I don't think they're very old. But I should be able to get eight or ten dollars a piece for them at the antique mall say 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 dollars all of them the same cobalt blue violins all right let's look at this box let's find the price forty dollars is what i paid for this box it's just a purple little jar there Stanford's ink, that's a $10 or $15 little bottle. They had 22 on that. I don't think that's bring 22. It might bring 10 on eBay. Milk bottle, that's junk there. That's these uh, English blob stoneware beer bottle. Salad dressing, that's pretty cool looking. That's another English bottle. It's got a pour spout on it like an inkwell. Made in England. But remember, I paid $40 for the box. I already pulled $40 out or more. Marinade. That's an ink, Stafford's ink. It's got the pour spout. It's blown, that's an early one. And that is a Chicago beer bottle, I would guess. Elder malt. Not sure what that is, maybe a little salt and pepper or salt or pepper shaker maybe. It's a little mustard jar, probably. And that is a fruit jar of some type. It's a lightning. It's a little sample size whiskey. That's probably 15 or 20 or more. One of these milk glass medicines that's probably 15 or 20 they got six on it on ebay i'll get 15 on it or i'll just keep it and this last one another marinade i've sold a lot of these marinades over the years Let's look at this box i paid 40 dollars for this box and i got a some kind of stoneware jar here with the lid not sure if that's the right lid, it may be. Got a crack. Another little crock. Junk, in my opinion. There's another little crock. I don't think that's the right lid. Had little ears on the side. It had a handle at one time. That's something I'll probably take to the antique mall for about $10, maybe. 
insulator that ain't nothing to it another little crock that's a pretty colored i wonder if that's like a little mustard crock like a light blue it's pretty cool another insulator 1907 i don't think there's nothing to that there's a blown egg them's early eggs right there another one down there that's an odd little whiskey bottle and that's english stuff there that's, i don't think that's got much value maybe ten dollars that's a big one of these that two-tone i think that's a beer bottle english it's fifteen dollars probably and there's another fruit jar with the lid i think that's the correct lid on that one i could sell that lid for ten dollars probably or fifteen Another insulator, HG Company. Not familiar with that. Probably ain't much. And then we got this. Not sure if that's a police light or a globe for a light. I'm not sure what that is. There's another different type. Cobalt blue. I've sold some of these in the past. That's got writing on it. I'll be able to find out what this is. Got them numbers on it right there. I've sold some of these in the past that looked kind of like this. A little bit different that were railroad. I mean, not railroad. Looked like this that were airport runway light covers. That might be what these are. That's what they look like right there. The rail, the uh, airport runway. It's got writing on the top. I'll be able to find out what that is. I bet that one is. A runway, airport runway light globe goes out on the runway i've sold some of them in the past that's pretty cool see cub beer columbia south carolina oh that might be something good looks like cub beer we we'll have to set that to the side. I'll check that one out. That's all junk. That's an odd looking bottle there. Four Roses, Paul Jones Company, Louisville, Kentucky. Got them pretty flowers on it. I'm not familiar. I've seen Paul Jones. Some of that Paul Jones don't bring no money, but this one may bring a little bit. And I paid 20 for this box. It's a New York. It's a perfumer. That's an early bottle. It's a blown bottle. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that one either. Gordon's Dry Gin. I've sold some of them. They don't bring nothing. I might just get seven or eight dollars at the antique mall that's an early medicine not sure about the white on it this is a wheaton reproduction flask junk and that's a flask got a bunch of bubbles in it but i think it's i think it's new but i don't know 100 percent on that it's crude looking I don't know. Somebody tell me if you know if that's a new flask. It's got an old cork in it. I don't know. The more I look at it, it kind of looks old. Malkinbird Food, New York. I'm not familiar with that. Different. Early stuff. So like a pickle or olive or 
something. I don't know if these are am amber pickles or some kind of food bottle. Not familiar with them. They early. They blown. Applied top. See that drippy lip? That's a pickle bottle, I think. Got some writing on it. It's a small little bulb looking bottle, another little crop, and a soda bottle. Mississippi Lime Cola Sales Company. But I weren't a bad box for $20. This is a $36 box. I think it's pretty well, muchly junk, maybe. Maybe I'm not familiar with that. That's some kind of whiskey. It may be foreign. It may not be. Martini cocktails. I'm not sure if that's foreign or not. It's a big old bottle. Pretty color. Whiskey. There's an amber whiskey. That's English, I think. It's got some etching writing on it. Giant. Giant. That's a teardrop or torpedo bottle. Ten or fifteen dollars. Ten or fifteen dollars for the torpedo. That's junk. 10 or 15 dollars for the torpedo junk. junk that's a big pickle bottle that's an early one it's got that crude lip it's got a name on the bottom too and that one's pondled that's a pondled bottle some kind of food bottle And I think that's a, probably a cod oil bottle. It's got the fish and the scales on it. That's probably a $10 or $15 bottle at the antique mall. That's it. They weren't much in there. I got the inventory. All these boxes are full of jars and bottles. There's a Tom's display. Some bottle racks. Bottles, bottles, bottles. And antiques. There's a bunch of old lanterns. I got the stuff. There's a bunch of cast iron, all kind of stuff down there. It's really hard to see. It's dark in here. Enamelware, bunch of enamelware. Lots and lots of it. There's a milk crate. Looks like. Hood. It's a nice old box. But all these boxes are full of bottles. That right there is old pondled medicines that I bought over a year ago. Haven't had time to list them. Got too much other stuff going on. Like I paid 25 for all them. All pond, all those ponds. There's another box of them down there too. Old butter press. Tobacco tin. When I got so many tobacco tins, I need to be selling. There's the other box of pond of medicines. Let's see if there's a price on it. I don't see a price on that one. That one is Pondled Medicines. 
bunch of cast iron. The whole shelf up there is all cast iron. Some more enamelware. Stoneware bowls. This thing's packed full of all kinds of antiques and antique bottles. All out there is blacksmith time. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below.